five. Okay. So there we go. So when we're filing, it's really important to know and understand why we're filing everything. Okay. So when when I was talking about um, being consistent with your filing, when you put a brand new chain on, it's like the best thing in the world. There's a reason for that. The reason is it is that they've designed the tooth and the height of the raker to be, I'm not the best artist, to have a certain gap between the top of the tooth and the raker. That's what gives you your chip cut, okay? Your raker gives you the distance between the top of your tooth and your raker. That's what gives you the chip. So we're gonna run like on a 0 .030 millimeter gap, which is really small. And all teeth are actually designed, if you look at them really closely, the actual tooth is on an angle like this, okay? And it's designed like that, so as you wear it down, it comes down more, 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 and then that's why you gotta take your raker down and come down more, more, and more. So then you get to a point where your tooth is, your raker's down here, and then your actual cutting tooth is down here, right? And that's where that's when you replace them, okay? Right, when they get to that point. So when we're filing, we wanna make sure we're consistent with our strokes. That's the biggest thing. So what happens is people will rock out, say this tooth here and this one, okay? Because we're short with tooth, we'll just go on like two. So people will rock out, say two, but it could be on a longer chain, six or four or five teeth. And what they do is they look at it and they go, oh, I had to take six strokes off of here. So what happens is they take six off this guy, four off this guy, and then now the rest are going like, and people do it, oh, those are good, I don't need to touch them. So what happens is, is you do these two, and then the next time you file, it's these two teeth. And then the next time you file, say it's these two. So what happens is if you do six and four here and don't touch these, and then you do three and five, right, whoops, five, or again, six and four, we automatically get a different distance of gap on the angle between the top of our tooth and the top of our raker. So we end up changing the 0 .030 millimeter gap. That gap they gave us right here, the 0 .030 millimeters is the perfect gap because they designed it that way. That's why when you put a brand new chain on, it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's the best feeling in the world. We need to keep that. And there's only one way to keep it. And that is to make sure we're taking the same amount of strokes off every single tooth every time we file. Okay? So if I rock these two out the first time, I only ever take two to three strokes off. Two reasons. Number one, I'm cheap. Number two... I'm also looking at the long run of this chain and going, well, if I, take two, if I take two or three off these two, that means all these other teeth that are good, I only gotta take two or three off, okay? So if I take two or three off these two, I'm good. Now I think I'll take two and three off every one, cut again. Then when I do these ones, right, I'll take two or three strokes off again, okay? And then when I rock out again on the third set, I'll do two to three strokes. So what ha ends up happening is, once I filed once here, second time here, third time here, I can come back to this one and I'll still have the same gap here as I do here and as I do here. So do you file the, the raker every time? Nope, no. I don't file the raker every time. For someone who doesn't have a lot of experience um, and, and for all the years I've been teaching, I always tell everyone, five files, so you file five times, and then the, every time on the fifth file, you take two strokes off your rakers, okay? That kind of gives you consistency, right? So even if you file five times and you took three strokes off, you've taken 15 strokes off, you brought your tooth down to here, now per se, then you take two strokes off your raker. Okay? It's the consistency you want. Because what happens is, visually, when you look down at your teeth and you see that it's rocked out and it's all chipped away, you take two or three strokes out, it doesn't look perfect. 
And that's where people get the mistake because they visually want it to look like it did when you put the brand new tooth on. But if you remember that, okay, I'm gonna file this one once, I'm gonna end up filing this tooth again and again and again. So if you look at it and go, if I take two, if we're gonna use two strokes and it's easier if I take two strokes off of it this time, and then the next time I rock out, I'm doing different teeth, I'll take two more strokes off this set, and then the next time I rock out, I'm doing these two teeth, I'll take two more strokes off this one. Now, I've actually literally, in the end, I've taken six strokes off these teeth, off these two. So now, if you actually look at any time you, you rock a chain out or, or dull it, if you took six strokes off, that chain's gonna look brand new again. That's because visually, that's what we're looking for. But it's not the visual we're after. That's the, the, the trick of it, right? It's not the visual, it's the understanding that if you stay consistent with the amount of strokes you're taking off your teeth and the amount of strokes you're taking off your rakers here, you'll keep that consistency. So that 0 0.030 millimeters I'm talking about, if you take two strokes off, it'll end up kind of like, say, a 0.028. And then the next one will be a 0.026. And then the next one will be a 0.024. Okay, and then a 0.020. One, two, three, four, and then a 0.0. Two, zero. And then on that fifth one, we take two strokes off the rakers. Okay? So we're resetting it again. Right? So now I'm taking two strokes off the rakers here, and now I'm back to, even though my tooth is down here, now this gap is back to point <coughs> zero, three, zero. So every five times we file, we're kind of resetting that gap that they gave us in the very beginning of that tooth. Okay? Of a brand new chain. So we're gonna, we're gonna wear it down a little bit, wear it down a little bit, and then take two strokes off the rakers. Work it down, wear it down, two strokes off the rakers. So we're only working at a, like a 0 0.010 millimeter gap difference. So you're still getting a good size chip when you're filing. So if you go with the, every fifth file, you take two strokes off your rakers, that'll give you a nice consistency all the way through your chain. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay.